In my line of work, presenting the highest quality image is key. Start building your website today at squarespace.com. Use the offer code CARL to get a 10% discount. I'm Carl Taylor, and this is my Squarespace. Okay, what we're gonna do this time is show you a little bit on how you can enhance the skies of some of your photographs in Photoshop. Now, I'm gonna use a really simple technique to make the sky in this image, which is a nice dramatic sky anyway, but we're gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. Uh, and you can apply this technique to lots of different skies in images that you've captured. Now, we're using uh, Photoshop here, but you'll probably find that other imaging uh, software, you can apply the same techniques even with uh, Photoshop elements. So let's get started and have a quick look at what we're going to do. Now, as I said, this is our image as it was taken. Uh, lovely sky and this ocean in front here. Um, what I'm going to first do is take that layer and duplicate it. Uh, so I've made a copy of that layer, it's an identical copy, nothing different there. But I'm going to change the blending mode of that layer to multiply. And you'll see that really boost the contrast there. It's uh, darkened the image, now the image looks much, much darker um, because it's multiplied it on top of the other one. Uh, but what I want to do now is reveal some of the original image through that image um, so that we don't have this completely darkened effect. Because if we look at the difference, if I turn that layer off, you can see it's a lot, lot darker uh, than it was. Um, but you can also see there's a lot more drama in that darker uh, shadows and clouds on the image. So I want to keep some of that. So what I'm going to do first of all is just reduce the opacity of that layer a little bit. I'm going to just drop that down to 77% there. We can also still see that it's still um, much darker than the original. But now what I'm going to do is just add a uh, mask. I'm going to click on the mask button down here. That's added the mask icon on that layer. It hasn't masked anything out at the moment because the mask is in white and it needs to be in black to mask it out. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch over to my paintbrush tool with B on my keyboard or click on the brush tool here. And I need to make sure that I've got black and white paints selected in the uh, foreground and background colors. And the black paint will act as a mask. And I can use X on the keyboard to switch between the two. Uh, but I want the black one up there. And I'm just going to uh, put that opacity of my brush at about 69, 70%. And I'm going to start to paint back the image below because I'm using the mask to mask out our multiply layer. And you can see here how this lovely light on the horizon and the light on the sea has now been brought back into my shot from how it was in the original image below. So if I flick that on and off now, you can see how the foreground area is the same as in the original image, but now we've got that enhanced sky. Now this is still a little bit strong, but what I might do now is just bring back some of the highlight edges in some of the edges of the clouds there. Uh, and I'm going to just drop the opacity of the brush a little bit more and reduce my brush size. And I'm just going to pick out certain details, certain parts of that image that I think might look good with those highlight images, uh, sorry, highlight areas of the image coming back into play a little bit. Um, and I kind of dapple this around a little bit, don't sort of be too specific about where you put it, just test certain areas and bring out bits that you think might enhance the shot. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for bits that might boost the sort of overall contrast of that sky for me uh, to create that real drama and that richness of uh, you know, tone and light in the sky. And you see, even that has worked really nicely. Now, if I've overdone that a little bit, I can just switch to X again to change my color in my palette to white. And then I can paint back and it'll take it back to what it was with the um, multiply layer previously. If you want to have a look at what, your, uh, what you've affected on the mask, I can hold my Alt key down, click on the mask, and there you can see what I've masked out of the shot. So let's just put that back as it was. Now we can see we've created a really stunning, dramatic sky. 
and if I flick the image on and off, that's the original image. And now with that added drama of the sky, it looks a lot more enhanced. And I can still mess around with the opacity if I think it's a little bit too strong um, or not strong enough. But overall, I think that's a pretty good result for just a quick five minute job in Photoshop. Uh, really boosted the drama of that shot, really added that impact on your sky. My passion is photography. Whether shooting for clients or teaching students, the excitement of great photography never gets old. Check out my website for free training, a complete range of courses and even photography workshops. Thank you for watching.